Everyone has become familiar with scenes like these, battles waged on foreign soil. But what most don't see is the battle fought after these soldiers come home. Many men and women return to military hospitals to begin their rehab, and their families back home want to support them throughout that process as much as possible. That's why the Mary the Mew Foundation has expanded their Austin's Playroom project into military facilities. Last October, they opened their third playroom on a military base at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, which gave them a total of 32 playrooms operating around the country. We're trying to support those who are supporting our country. And the best way of supporting them is by supporting their families and making life a little bit easier, taking some of the burden off of the families uh, and, and making sure that our military men and women are being taken care of. Just like the rooms here in Western Pennsylvania, these Austin's playrooms cater to children or siblings of patients receiving care. They provide respite for thousands of military kids, and the military moms are very happy to take advantage of them. It gives them somewhere to go that they don't think about they're just waiting in the small area. You can only read a book so many times, and here they can. there's a lot of other things that they can do besides just sitting. Yes, it's gonna be very hard to get him to leave today, I think, actually. He loves it. To those men and women who've deployed multiple times, whose families have experienced separation, sometimes loss, to be able to have a moment of joy, a moment of relief, a smile or two, and what otherwise could be a scary time for them, it's truly incredible. The vision uh, that they had to uh, put the playrooms in, uh, it, starting out in Pennsylvania, but really expanding it across the country, and now to include the, the military health system is uh, a fantastic. We, really want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts and thank you for helping us uh, take care of the Marines and the families that we serve.